Six months ago, the King and Queen opened the King George V graving dock at Southampton. Today sees the crowning triumph of the greatest enterprise in shipping history, for the world's largest graving dock is preparing to receive the world's largest liner. The giant basin, part of the extension scheme of Southampton docks, was built at a cost of 1,850,000 pounds, and the accommodation of the 56,000 ton Majestic is a fitting start to its official career. The Majestic herself is a picture of what the modern luxury liner should be. Gay with bunting, she comes royally into position along the specially dredged water channel, with pygmy tugs straining all round her in perfect unison with the work of the pilot on her mammoth bridge. Inch by cautious inch, the Leviathan moves forward. At the entrance to the dock, there is only 35 feet to spare, and the slightest error of judgment would mean damage to the tune of thousands of pounds. But no such hitch mars an exhibition of perfect seamanship, and the Majestic is safely docked in 90 minutes. Next morning, the work of overhaul on the underwater portion of the Majestic is in full swing. Nothing gives so spectacular an impression of the size of this ocean colossus as the comparison of the midget laborers at work, dwarfed by the size of her tremendous screws and ponderous gleaming hull. Flying to Southampton the same day as the historic docking of the Majestic is a twin-engine monoplane. It is the private plane of the Prince of Wales and it is carrying its royal owner and his brother, Prince George. The youngest prince is leaving England today on the motor ship Carnarvon Castle for a tour of South Africa. The Prince of Wales accompanied Prince George on board for a final handshake and Godspeed, and then returned to the plane awaiting him at the Southampton Aerodrome. And as the motor liner drew slowly out of the dock, the prince's plane circled overhead three times in a final gesture of farewell. And so the Carnarvon Castle takes its royal passenger to South Africa in the path of the sun.